Good morning, brothers and sisters. We are the members of the Youth for El Shaddai in London, and it's our privilege to be joining with you today in our morning prayers. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of love, your Son Jesus is the greatest gift to us. He is a sign of your love. Help us walk in that love during the weeks of Advent. As we wait and prepare for His coming, we pray in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. 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 Our reading for today from the Gospel Luke, chapter 1, verse 39 to 45. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud, loud cry, Blessed are, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of, the, of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for, for joy. And blessed is, is she who believed that, that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. People who are untuned to the will of God are profoundly connected with one another because they are directed by the same Holy Spirit. Such are Mary and Elizabeth, without sending a word to each other, they know what marvels God is accomplishing in one another's life. God lets them into the divine plan. Elizabeth's extraordinary pregnancy in her old age is given as a sign to Mary at the announcement of Jesus' birth. Mary immediately sets out to visit Elizabeth, not only to see the sign, for she is not doubting and does not need verification. Rather, solicitude for her elderly cousin prompts her to reach out to Elizabeth in her moment of need. Elizabeth too receives a divine revelation upon hearing the voice of Mary. She recognizes Mary's blessedness, not only because of her announced not only because of her divine maternity, but especially because of her faith in the announcement made to her. Her words to Mary hint at Zechariah's sceptical reaction to the angel's message. The elderly priest doubted, while the young village girl believed, divine reversal is already at work, even at this early stage of the gospel. For the final prayer, Lord Jesus, Master of both, the light of the darkness, Send your Holy Spirit upon our preparation for Christmas. We who have so much to do seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. We who are anxious over many things look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the com complete joy of your kingdom. We who, whose hearts are heavy seek the joy of your presence. We are your people walking in the darkness yet seeking the light. To you we say, come Lord Jesus. May the mighty God bless us in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in our morning prayer. May God bless us all.